Okay, so for this video, I'm going to be going over how to save your uh, smart materials or any materials that you make so that you can use them on other objects or in other scenes for future uh, use. Um, so I'm just going to click Start Painting. I'm going to open up Matte. So this is Matt. This is Substance Painter's personal little character. Uh, what I'm going to go through is I'm just going to go ahead and create a smart material from scratch. So I'm going to create a folder. I'm going to call this smart Matt tutorial. And I'm going to go ahead and get right to it. I think I'm going to make a Let's do a painted metal. I know Substance has a lot of its own painted metal materials, but this way you know how to create this material as well as edit it. So here we go. All right, so I've created this smart material and now what I want is I want it to, I want to be able to copy this and paste it onto each of these. Now what I could do is I could, you know, control C and then control V and I would get this kind of an effect. However, that's not really what I want. I want to make this a smart material so that it will interact uh, appropriately. So now what, I, so what I'm going to do instead is I'm going to close this um, folder. 
I'm going to right click on the smart material and I'm going to hit create smart material. So now what it'll do is if I go over to this, I can scroll over to my assets library. I can scroll down and I can look for uh, I can look for that smart material that I made. So I called it smart material tutorial. Here it is. So this will automatically add it to your library. And what it'll do is it'll allow you to take whatever you've made here and apply it to any other object in any other um, scene that you're making. So I can click and I can drag and I can slap it on here and I can slap it on here. So there we go. Now, because these objects don't share a lot of the same um, edge detail as this one, so it'll look good on this, but as you can see, it doesn't quite look good on this one or this one. You can see my, uh, my titles right down here. But what you can do is now that you have this already built, I could go to the body and I can go into the dirt because I know where it's at, and I could play with this. Use triplanar. I can increase the grunge amount, drop down the dirt level, increase the contrast. There we go, and I can go into the paint. I can click on the uh, metal edgeware, and I can mess with this as well. Make it look a little bit more grungy. And my text layer, I should probably delete this one. Okay. So that's working properly. I'm going to click on my base. And now I'm going to mess with the sludge on this one just a little bit. Let's turn on triplanar. Grunge amount. Let's turn on dirt level. Let's put this to like that. Let's bunt, punch up the grunge amount. Let's bring down the contrast a little bit. And there we go. So what I did, what the usefulness of creating smart materials is I didn't have to go through and create all of this over again for each of these materials. All I had to do was drop it in and then I could come in and I could play with the settings. That's all you're doing for a smart material. So this is how you make it within Substance Painter. Uh, I hope this video was helpful, and I will see you in the next video.